Bye, car. You know how you can just tell when somebody lying? He lied with such a straight face. It's crazy. So I had to go to do blood work. So when I went there, I went last time and they were closed. So I went this time thinking I'll do a little early appointment, earlier appointment, and they'll be open. We go again, they're closed. So we're about to go to head over to Dairy Queen, get us something to eat, then head to, she wants Chipotle and I'm getting Wingstop. So, and then we're gonna head to my mom's house. So we will see you guys. Well, today we're not really doing much except for that. We're just going to my mom's house, hanging out and just chilling. And then I don't know what else. It's hot, but we will see you guys when we get to Dairy Queen. It's hot. So you guys, we did not go inside Dairy Queen, but I got me a cherry, a chocolate cherry blizzard or cherry berry cherry blizzard. So you got to see it with M and M's and um, M and M's chocolate ice cream and um, cookie dough. And um, I got me my homemade thing. I got. Why can't you see it? You gotta go closer. Your face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got vanilla ice cream with sprinkles and strawberry syrup. It's the best. I don't know about her. I don't like no chocolate ice cream. The but it's the best. Derek, we got the best ice cream. Now we're about to go. As they finish eating this, Caitlin going to get her some Chipotle. And then I think I'm gonna get me Wingstop. I think I should. Maybe I should get me Chipotle. And we'll see y'all guys after we get done eating. There's good ice cream. And we'll see Caitlin probably see you at Chipotle or I'll take you guys up to Wingstop. And uh, my car stinks so bad. I don't know what was in it. But something's about in here died. And they took everything out. There's nothing in the car. I just don't know. It's not like somebody left fish in the car. And it's so hot in Florida. Mm. I'm gonna tell y'all it's hot. I thank God it's about to rain because, baby, it's about to rain. It's still hot, but not as hot as the world. The sun was hot. Now I can smell it. We trying to hurry up and get this thinking car. I have to like air this car out or do something. I don't know what to do to it. So show them what we doing. Mm -hmm. The things you've been spraying. <laughs> I've been spraying this like every time. Y'all, this is the best one. When they get stinky. Yeah, that's what we spray. Like every 10 minutes it stinks, so I'll be like, psh, psh, psh. <laughs> <laughs> like windows down, kind of edges drunk out. But, we'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye. <laughs> oh, oh, yes, oh. Yeah, oh, yes, don't go yeah. afternoon good afternoon you guys uh, so you guys this morning i am taking caitlin to go take her school uniforms well she uniform from shirts to the embroidery to put her logo on it for her school so we're here now about to hop out of the car herb and do that because i have a showing in like 30 minutes <laughs> so i'm trying to herb and do this and it takes us about 20 minutes to get there to the showing and i gotta get gas i just thought about that so let me hurry up so we can hurry up and get in here drop off these shirts and then go get some gas and then head over to our showing. So we will see you guys when we get into the grocery store. All right, so bye. Hi. Hi. How you doing? Oh. You just wanna put the logos on the shirt? What? Cool. Oh. We can do a Can't anymore? Yeah. Why, what happened? Because this whole sand of paper with the law. Mm. The logo? The lawyer. Oh. Yeah. We can do anymore. What? The school only wants to go to the, to the school. Yeah. Oh my! They didn't even tell us any of that. Thank you. 
Good morning, good morning, good morning, you guys. Uh, so today is Monday, and this I'm at work. I'm actually clocking into work right now. But I want to talk to you guys for a little bit to tell you what we're going to do today. And also, I wanted to show you guys um, when we went to my showing on Friday. Was it Friday? You went to the showing? No, it was Saturday. Hold on, let me log in really quick. So I showed my client a property on Saturday that she absolutely adored and wants to put an offer in. Um, I didn't get to talk much when I was there. I thought I had recorded something, um, like a little nice little cute intro at the um, property, but it didn't get recorded. So, but I did show some, but I did record some of the property. I did have my daughter record the property though. So I'm going to insert some clips of the property here. Hey guys, so I am at a beautiful, beautiful townhouse here in the sunny, sunny South Florida. If you are looking for a home in the Homestead, Princeton, Florida City area, I am your girl. Please contact me. This is a three bedroom, three bath townhome. It is beautiful, it is serene, it is so comfortable and quaint. You guys are gonna love, love, love this townhouse. So come look at the townhouse with me. So yeah, that was the property and my client loved it. I'm just waiting on my client to send me over some, sign over some documents and then I'm gonna write the offer in for her for this place. I'm really hoping that uh, my client does get this property. This is the first property that she has seen, but I'm hoping that the first, first, what is it? First one's the charm. That's what I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say third, third time the charm. I'm hoping first time's the charm. So yeah, I'm hoping that she gets this property and she gets to move in with her kids, um, but yeah. I'm, you know, I'm gonna tell you guys, y'all know I haven't had a showing in a while. I haven't been on my, like I've been, I've been doing like um, marketing, you know, social media things like that for, for for my for my business. But I haven't had this is my I haven't had I haven't had to show any houses till now. And when I went out to show this house, you guys, the way I felt, like you know how you just feel something just feels right, right? Like, I'm about, I'm about to crown YouTube again. I'm not going to do that. But I just know that that's where God wants me to be. And God called me to be a realtor. And that's what I'm supposed to be doing. 
And that's supposed to be doing full time. And it's just like, y'all understand the feeling that I felt. Like, I just felt so like, this is where I'm supposed to be. This is what I'm supposed to be doing 24 seven, all day, every day, like full time. And it really, it re I'm not gonna lie to y'all, it really, really hurts and discourages me that I have to do a nine to five because I wish I could be a full time realtor. Like it just brings me so much joy to see my client's face, like when they see the property and they love it, or just talking about real estate or just showing them homes, looking at the architecture, like it just brings me so much joy. And that's just what I want to do. I want to do that so bad full time. So I'm really trying really hard to market myself, to market my business, to get my name out there. So while I'm saying that, if you are in need of a rental property, or if you're in need of to buy a home, sell your home, or even just wanting to start investing in real estate, um, definitely contact me. I'll have my information in the description box down below. Um, you can always check out my TikTok and my Instagram as well and my Facebook. But yeah, you guys, so I'm, I just felt like this is where I'm supposed to be. But yeah, so I'm hoping I can't wait till I'm able to do that full time. Um, but today, what we're going to be doing today, today I am getting off early because Caitlin has orientation today because she's going to the seventh grade. So she has orientation today and she has to be there early because the cheerleaders are basically cheering at the orientation. So she has to be there a little bit early. So I'm getting off at 1130. I'm just clocking in now at 1040. So I got to um, get off at 1130 and we're going to get that. I think she has to be like 150, maybe 130. I'm not too sure yet. But yeah, so I can't wait for that. Yeah, I'm like super excited that my baby is going to the seventh grade. And I don't know if I told y'all when we went to go. Oh, yeah, yeah. When we went to go get her her embroidery on her shirt, um, we weren't allowed to. Um, the lady said that my, my daughter's school sent a, a letter from the lawyer saying to cease from making their embroidery. So they only want us to purchase her shirts from her school. So when I try to purchase the shirts from the school, they literally on back order. So she got to go to school with no embroidery on her on her shirt. Because what else we going to do? Um, so yeah, that I have to order her some shoes. I have to order her that shirt. Um, I did order her shoes. So her shoes are coming. It said it's going to be here on the 16th which is what, uh, Wednesday. So she's gonna be here Wednesday. I bought her some undergarments from Shein. Um, hold on, you guys, let me log in. So y'all, I thought I was gonna have time to do a TikTok about like what I'm gonna wear for my daughter's orientation, but obviously I cannot. I just was editing a TikTok and an Instagram for my real estate business, so I don't even have time to do that. So right now I'm just trying to find something to wear to her orientation. Um, I don't have any idea what I'm going to wear. And I only got like 20 minutes to get dressed. Thank God I already took a shower. So that is done. I mean, you don't have to dress up like crazy for orientation. It's just a regular thing. But I just wanted to look cute. Um, I'm going to put you guys up here while I'm looking. I'm trying to find something. And um, yeah. So trying to find something. Just something simple. Uh, maybe I should just wear a dress. Oh, I guess she just wear something. My wig. I'm trying to find my other wig. I don't got time for that. I want to wear that wig, but I don't have time to work, to look for it and try to figure out where it is. Um, I know I want to wear something long. I think I'm just going to wear this dress. Simple, easy. Throw it right on. This little great dress right here. I've worn this before. Um, I think I'm just going to wear this. I didn't want to wear long sleeves, though. This got long sleeves on it. Never mind. Don't want to wear long sleeves. Um... This is it's off the shoulder anyway. They off the shoulder, but I'm still gonna wear it. It's still it's long sleeve, but it's off the shoulder. So let's just wear this because I don't got time. I gotta hurry up. Gotta hurry, gotta hurry. So y'all, I told y'all that we were born to orientation for Caitlin for her eight, seventh grade orientation. So when we get in the car. Yeah, I'm gonna tell y'all when we get to the house because it's my mom's house. We walk into her house right now. So I'll talk to her when we get there. Good morning, good morning, good morning, you guys. Uh, y'all, I gotta catch y'all up on what's, what is that in my hair? So today is Monday and I'm at training um, for work. I told you guys I got a promotion, so training starts today. Uh, but I have to catch you guys 
I gotta catch you guys up on what's been happening and what's been going on this past week. It's crazy what's happening to me. It's ridiculous how the enemy trying to beat down my door and mad because he know I'm about to prosper and he hating. But let me tell y'all what's happening. So y'all know on Monday, I was supposed to take Caitlin to her seventh grade orientation, which was last Monday. So last week, um, we get in the car, I crank the car up, I put the car, I push it in reverse, it get in reverse, I try to put it in drive and it wouldn't go. Like literally stuck, the car stuck, had to put up the emergency brake, car did not work, had to call a tow truck, come get the car. I'll show you guys a clip of my baby getting towed. <laughs> So my baby getting towed, y'all. I'm so sad about my car getting towed. But let me tell y'all what's really crazy. So I checked up on it and to see to make sure like if I had any recalls. Hold on, y'all. I'll tell y'all about that. So much happening. So much. So yeah, that's my AC. I don't know if I told y'all what happened with the AC. I had to get my AC was out when I went to go training for my license. My AC went out. The, the devil trying to get me. AC went out for days hot in here learning trying to get it but you know what but with grace with the grace of god i passed my license exam and if you guys have not watched that video of me passing my license exam i will put it up here so you guys can watch that one after you watch this but you guys so i get home today and the ac is just wait before that this is like everything's just so crazy the other day let me finish telling about the car and then i'll get back to the ac thing anyway so the car got towed right so the guy, so. We'll take a five minute recess. No. No. Well then y'all better focus. <laughs> because who cut? Okay, I know where I was at. <laughs> I was at the recalls. So. Yeah, so I went to check and see if I had any recalls, which I had two, which one of them was with the oil, I don't know. Another one was that stick shift thing. So I had a recall. Thank God that did not happen while I was driving and it happened in a parking lot. Because I don't know, I just thank God for protecting the shield and protecting me and my baby. I don't know what could happen. So yeah, so they get the, they get it. And then I get a call. They get the car. I get a call from the dealer saying, hey. So I get a call from the dealer saying, hey, um, your battery's not working. I'm like, that's not true. Because when I, I crunk my car up, I, the car could, the car crunk up, nothing wrong with the battery. So I was like, there's nothing with my battery. My battery cranked up. I don't know what you're talking about. He says, well, when we checked the battery, the cells were completely dead. So I need to come in. He's like, do you have a warranty? Don't you have a warranty? What? Like. <sighs> so he's like, see if you can go get a new battery, but whatever. Y'all, I don't have no way to get to no battery. <sighs> this is just nerve wracking. So mind you, I don't have a car. Caitlin can't go to school. So Caitlin has school Thursday and Friday. And I think he called me about the battery on Tuesday, I think. That was on Tuesday. But they fixed they fixed one of the things. They fixed the oil thingy, whatever it was that you need to fix, they fixed that. And then he calls me, I think, on Wednesday or Thursday and says, we're unable to fix the other part unless we get the new battery. And I'm just like, I know this guy is full of it. He's upset because those doggone recalls are free. He told me to pay something. So I asked him, I said, if I get a new battery, if I have you guys put the new battery in, how much are you going to charge me? Is there a charge? He was like, yeah, $75. $75? Like, I don't even got it, first off. Secondly, how much commission are you getting off of seventy five dollars? My mom told me he probably gonna pocket it, <laughs> probably. But yeah, like I'm like this is crazy, this is so crazy. I'm like whatever. So I called my brother to pick me up. I think it was on Friday. I called him to pick me up, take me to go get the battery. Um, like you could, you know how you could just tell when somebody lying. He lied with such a straight face. It's crazy. So I get the battery. We take it to to the place where I got my where I had my original battery from, which I had the the warranty. And the guy checks the battery and he says, "This battery is fine. This battery is perfect and it's working." 
this buddy wasted my time y'all he really wasted my time waste my warranty like i'm so upset but it's like what can you do about it what can you do about it right get it done or don't get it done right so he gave me my new battery with the warranty so it's free so i take the battery back to the guy and i asked him i said oh you want to check the battery make sure it works he gonna say oh no we gotta we gotta like we gotta like um what they said they gotta do I want to say they got a um, programmer or something he said. We got a programmer, so I can't even check if it's, if, you know, I'm just like whatever yet, right? <laughs> so he told my brother to put the battery in the seat. I want to say, you should have you should have put the battery inside the trunk, I mean, inside the hood where it's supposed to go. And I said, well, he told him to put it in the seat. So I said, like, whatever. So he said that the car should be done today. So I'm going to call them today, find out if the vehicle's done. Caitlin couldn't go to school today because we didn't have a way. I'm um, hoping we get the car today when I get off of work and um, yeah and hopefully it's free well besides the $75 so I'm gonna call them when I go on my lunch break and find out if the car is working y'all yeah, it's really crazy it's really crazy but I'm hoping it works um, there's just so much has been going on um, so yeah that's what's going on with the car like I told you guys about the AC, the AC broke. <clears throat> I don't know if I told you guys already that the AC when I came home. I think I did tell y'all. When I came home, the AC had water all over the floor. So the guy came and fixed the AC. Now when I come home today, the AC is making all these crazy noises. Um, I'm going to have to call the office so they can check it. They're probably going to say nothing wrong with it because it's just making like a weird noises. But it's still working. So I don't know. <sighs> y'all, I'm just really aggravated really really aggravated um but i thank god i'm alive i'm here i'm feeling my health is feeling good like i'm my hands and everything is like doing okay oh you guys so i did get um remember i told you guys i put in an offer for my client i did get a response back and her offer was not accepted they did go with a different offer so we're back trying to find um one of the property it's just so much going on y'all i'm so stressed out I'm so stressed out and I'm trying not to be. <sighs> Y'all, so I'm gonna close out the video here because um, I actually had to focus on the stringing. <sighs> I really want this to go well. Um, so I'm happy about that. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I've, I've gotten a raise, I've gotten a promotion. So I'm really happy about that <sighs> um, and what, with my nine to five. But y'all know my goal was to reach six figures in a year. Um, I'm still hoping that happens. It's so crazy because I'm getting so much more clients. I'm getting so much more prospects and, and leads. And it's like for this to happen at the time, for my vehicle to mess up, it's really like baffling to me. And it's just the enemy trying to fight me. I'm going to focus on my training and um, I'll, I'll keep you guys updated with the next video on what's going on with my car, what's going on with Caitlyn, um, what's going on with everything. <sighs> everything you guys so i will thank you for tuning in please subscribe like comment and share to my video you guys and i will see you guys next time bye